The MSU Moorhead men's basketball team has been on a terror this season. With the best start in program history and just one loss on the season, they go into possibly their biggest contest yet at fourth-ranked Augustana tonight. The top 10 tilt promises to be a tight one. First top 10 matchup for the Dragons since they've moved to Division II. Getting it started with Jordan Reaver going to the dial it up from distance. He had 15 on the night. More from MSU Moorhead. It's Tyler Vaughn knocking down a three. He had 15 on the night as well. The drag Dragons trailing at this point, but it's Isaac Sevely going to the slam this one all the way back up to Moorhead. And it was so nice that they went to him twice as Sevely slams it home again. But it was Augie's Twin Towers dominating this one. Daniel Jensen and Casey Schilling. Schilling calling up the bank from downtown. He had 27 points and 12 boards. It's the Augies in the end at 97-80 to take sole possession of first place in the NSIC. North Dakota State is one of the first teams to tell you basketball takes an army. They know better than anyone that one guy can't do it all. But today they threw that out the window. Window Senior guard Lawrence Alexander put on a shooting clinic at Shields Arena today and it was just fun to watch. Alexander had 18 points in the first half. The entire South Dakota team had 20 at the half. He opens the second half with another three at the shot clock buzzes. Bison up 20 on the Coyotes here. It's Eve ever steady. Sorry, he is ever steady throughout the charge. He ties his career scoring mark with 31 points today with a smile on his face. Just a kid playing the game he loves, and the game loves him. The day belonged to LA. He hits a single game school record, eight three pointers, besting his previous record of seven set at Southern Miss earlier this season. After the game, he talks and says he just felt good today. Kind of got in the groove, and uh, once you're in the groove, it's kind of hard to get out of it. I mean, it's like uh, throwing a rock in the ocean, you know. That's kind of what I feel like shooting the ball. It's nice to have Lawrence, who's not afraid of the moment, not afraid to just rise up and make some big shots. And um, he did it tonight. And fortunately for us, he's done it, you know, a lot in the last 24 games. The Bison connected on 14 of 22 threes as a team. The Bison also. So far ahead, thanks to their rebounding, got 37 of 58 possible. The Bison travel to Denver for their next action. UND men lose for the first time at Northern Arizona, 88-63 after falling behind early. North Dakota women use a second half push to take the 78-62 win at home, led by a game-high 23 points from Maya Lloyd. MSUM women down in Sioux Falls today with the men also taking on Augustana. First half, Natalie Van Wyem hits a running jumper for the Dragons as they trail the Augies. They keep fighting here. Great feed inside to Savannah Handevite. Down low, Dragons picking up the lead there. Moorhead will trail by as many as eight, but redshirt freshman Drew Sands has her second straight double-double with 17 points for the Dragons. Combine her effort with junior Megan Rorick's offensive rebound and put back here. She has 27 points, and MSUM hits a season-high 58 second-half points to take the win, 86-77 the final, as the Dragons own a 56-35 edge in rebounds while shooting over 40% on the night. Huge win for Concordia men as they take care of business early over St. Mary's. Cobber women make a late push to force overtime, led by Olivia Johnson with 21 points, but they fall 79-73. Coming up after the break, it's senior night for Moorhead boys and UND women looking for a sweep over Minnesota.